Hi there, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here. Today we're taking a look at a 1999 Skyline GTR. This is a bit of a special day for me because this is the first time that I've checked out one of these for my channel. We have bought a few of them for our dealer customers, but of course the dealer videos never get onto this channel. So this is an individual car for a buyer that has bought a number of cars and I'm very happy to work with. This is the most recent purchase. It is a very nice condition R34 GTR. The details on this one is a 1999 with 117,000 kilometers. For a GTR, that's rather on the middle to higher end for the mileage. But the condition of this one seems to be good. It does have a few things here or there that we will get into. RB26 engine started up good and runs well. I think that the engine is in need of some nice fresh gasoline and a little bit of a tune-up because at the lower RPM it's just not as smooth as you would like it to be. This doesn't seem like it's a problem with the engine and everything checks out from what I can tell. The coolant looks good and the oil looks good. It has a couple of aftermarket parts like the air filters here. It's also got aftermarket suspension. The suspension as you can see here can be adjusted. So inside the car you get a little electronic box and you can adjust how hard you want your suspension to be from that. Okay, gonna lower the hood here. We'll take a look at the body and the interior and compare the car to the auction sheet. Now, I'm not sure if I noticed uh, or I mentioned it, but the GTR engines are always noisier on my camera than they are in real life, so please keep that in mind. The inside of this engine bay also makes a bit of a rattling sound when it idles. Uh, some sort of loose, loose shielding. You may be able to hear it, but it's not very loud. So this one's a V-Spec model. Let's take a look at the auction sheet now. So a 1999 Skyline GTR V-Spec. Let's place this here. 117.005 kilometers, six-speed manual transmission. That's a Getrag unit. Uh, auction by user, trust adjustable coilover suspension, original 18-inch wheels, and they are beautiful wheels. The condition on the right side here is good. On the left side, there are some scrapes. I'll just show you briefly. Tires are compliant for Canada, and they're a Potenza, um, what is it, Potenza RE050A tire. They have about 80% tread on them. Aftermarket suspension arms on this one, and so it's classified as a modified vehicle. HID headlights, keyless entry, dual airbag, HKS air filter, V-Spec model, owner's manual, warranty papers. This one here, and this one here, these are the notes from the inspection. It says seat side and steering wheel wear, interior dirty, wheel scratched, rear spoiler paint fade, various scratches uh, and dents small. Front bumper scuff, windshield rock chip, AU1, AU1 here and here are both very small, and A1 on the back bumper, small scratches. If you don't understand these, you can check out our website. It's got a description of what those marks mean. Just going to put this one here inside the car while we take a look at the body. Okay, so condition of the body, I would rate this one an A+. It's got very small damage to it. Very clean, shiny paint, even when the car's dirty like it is right now. The v setback model is very nice looking. It's got the lower front valise here. This one's got an aftermarket carbon fiber insert around the intercooler here. Let me just get a close-up of that. You'll want to probably polish that because it looks like it needs a good polish.
The GTR is a really a car that you want to see in person. I don't think pictures do it very good. I think that, uh, the, well, the first time that I saw one in person, I was pretty surprised at how much cooler I thought it looked than it did in pictures or videos that I'd seen. Everybody knows these cars, but uh, I don't think that you really get a good grasp of them until you've seen them. Okay, I'll go over the areas that it said there was damage. It's UA1, not very visible. Right here is one of them. And as you can see, that's so small, it's almost not noticeable. The other damage is kind of like that. This is just mud on the body. Sides are really nice. Take a look at this. That rear extension is really gorgeous looking in the front as well. Okay, it's got the rear carbon diffuser here, which is stock on the V-Spec model. It's got the cool fog light in the rear with the red light up area down there red light up area. I don't know what to call it. It's like a tail light but it's down and off to the side. Whatever. The auction sheet said spoiler paint fade. And you can see that's true here. Front bumper scuffs. And the scuffs are underneath the front lip. Here. And so really not easy to see. Take a look at the interior now. The R34 has some of the nicest seats for a stock vehicle I have ever sat in. The looks of them are so-so, but the comfort is very good. For 120,000 kilometers, I'm really surprised at the quality of the interior of this one. Usually with something that's about that level, you would get a lot dirtier of an interior and a lot more wear. So the seats have pretty deep bolstering here. I don't know, maybe six, seven inches. And on the, or on the bottom as well. What's nice about the GTR compared to especially like the Evo this bolster part here doesn't sag nearly as much as the Evo or the STI ones do. You can see you do have some sagging in here and here. Um, it's better than I thought that it was. It's not really that noticeable. So, good. Steering wheel said it had wear on it, but it's not very much wear. It's actually really nice. Okay. The guy at the porch telling me I gotta get out because customs is here. Anyways, 117021 kilometers now. Almost out of gas. Multifunction display. This one shows you a whole bunch of stuff. It's got uh, these are your maximums 1.1 bar boost, 95% injectors, oil temp, water temp. So you can set all of those. You've got a menu here. You can do a shift light. Let's put that closer. There we go. Or you can watch all this fun stuff. Boost, oil temp, and it gives you a cool little graph too over time. Let me just show you with uh, throttle is a good one. The throttle here. a little graph of your throttle there. So a really cool thing to play with. I think that uh, a lot of the car otakus like myself really like that kind of thing. All stock there on the waterfall, never been smoked in, cigarette lighters never been used. 
Shifter's nice and tight. Brakes feel good. Throttle response feels good. I will mention that this one has an aftermarket clutch that wasn't mentioned on the auction sheet, and it's a very, very grabby style one. It's basically one of those on-off styles. You pop the clutch out and you're going super fast. Uh, not something that I think is good in a street car and something I would recommend changing on this car. Which is also good because the throw-out bearing on the clutch seems to be making some noise when you push it. And so those two can be tackled at the same time. Really nice interior. The auction sheet always says the interior is dirty, but as you can see, you get a really nice clean interior on some of the cars, even when it says that. Okay, gonna step out. We'll take a look at the body a little bit longer, but just because this car is really nice to look at. So once again, my name is Derek. This is Pacific Coast Auto Imports. We buy cars from auction and we send them to countries around the world. You can check out our website if you want and you can find a little bit more about us. We have a Facebook account that I try to update but don't do it as much as I'd like to. And then if you like videos like this, subscribe to the channel. We're putting all of our videos for customers, unless requested otherwise, onto the channel. And so, it's really interesting to see what kind of cars we have in Japan, what's being exported, and just an up close on all the cars. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.